350Z variety today. It's a weekend. I hope you guys are hanging out, having a good one. Um, this is a really cool setup. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna preface this video quickly. Um, it's an NA car. You may not think there's too much craziness going on under the hood. It looks pretty unassuming, but um, I can assure you this is not your run of the mill 350Z. We are tuning with uh, finger injectors, cams, exhausts. This motor's been gone through. It's a very, very nice build, and um, we're running it on C85. So, a very unassuming car. It looks pretty basic from the outside, but um, you can see the Brembo's on it. It's got some nice brakes. It's an all-around really cool car, and it's pretty lightweight. I'll put it to you that way. So, let's see. We're tuning with the uh, up rev. That's our weapon of choice with the NAZ and some of the turbo stuff. So, if you have one of these, make sure you hit us up. We can set you up. Either way, let's see what we can do. Stock, these cars put down around 220, 230 to the wheel on this dyno. And uh, with these mods, we are going to be looking up. I'd like to see close to 300 and see what we can do. So hang tight and buckle up. We'll see what she does. Mustang dyno. Uh, these these dynos are, relevant, are are known for being reading low. Uh, like I said, stock these things make like 220, 230 at the wheel on this dyno. So figure out your gains there. 80 plus horsepower. Not too shabby. Na. Back to the no prep car for a minute or two or three or four or five 
whatever. Uh, I just want to show you guys a couple of things that, that we're going to be testing. Um, as you guys saw maybe in the last video, we switched it up. We've got the Savox Servo in there now. So the steering's nice and tight. Um, we've got another battery that we're testing. It's over there on the balance charger right now, getting completely filled up. So we'll be able to test on that. Um, I have a battery on the way too. I spoke with Max Amps and they're going to be sending out a battery so that I can do some more testing with. So we'll, we'll check that out when it gets here. But it's a, a pretty healthy setup. It's a, a two cell, but with six cells in parallel. So it's pretty strong. Uh, should be able to handle the current that this little DRK is throwing down. So I added a second cat pack on here as well, just to try and curb as much of the ripple voltage as possible. Um, I know one does the job typically, but I'm going to push this thing. I'm going to push it as hard as I can. I don't want to hurt this little speed controller. So um, we're going to give it the best shot it's got. And it doesn't necessarily hurt to have a couple extra capacitors on, on tap. Um, but one of the big things that I'm testing is um, tire stuff. I'm getting ready to, to maybe make that, that switch to preparing tires. We're going to do some some sauce. We'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, the first thing that I tried was adding some air. Um, so to the tires that I already had, what I did was I just taped off the holes and blew a little bit of air with the compressor into it. But it's very inaccurate and um, it seemed to work pretty well. So I went ahead and stepped up and I have some tires, some new tires on the way, but I have these old ones that I'm playing around with. And I added a tire valve in there so that I can fill them up. And it just, it's just a typical ball valve for like a sports ball. And we use this bad boy to fill it up. I took a needle, I bent it at an angle so that it would fit in there easily. And it just goes right into the valve. And then you just pump it up like that. Now, it's not in there, so it's not gonna pump up. And I didn't even seal these tires on here. These are old tires, you can see they're all beat up. So I have a new set of tires that we put on these rims, but this will allow me to precisely fill the tires up to the exact air pressure that I'm looking for on both sides. Uh, and that'll help us out with the, um, with the, the air filled tire traction scenario. So we'll see, but I have been testing again with these that have some air in them. I did it by feel. I feel they feel pretty similar. So, uh, I think it's, it's, it's gotta be pretty close cause the car tracks pretty straight and it did really well. Um, the other thing that I've got too, that's going to help us with that is a set of these tire warmers and they plug right into a battery so you just stick your 3s battery on these bad boys they call them uh tire cookers or tire bands whatever tire hot bands cookers something whatever they're warmers they're tire warmers so basically there's an element in here that heats up <clears throat> and it allows the tire to get hot without doing a burnout so some more big big car stuff onto the little cars so uh we'll use the tire warmer at at the track we'll get this get the tires soft from heat that way our burnout is minimal we'll just have to scuff it real quick and then go so we're going to try that uh as we work our way up to the to the tire sauce stuff i want to get the maximum out of these i want to see exactly what they're capable of without any of that disgusting crap on it so stay tuned for that i think that's going to be the golden ticket as we get faster and faster with this setup we're starting to get down to the to the low low twos and uh i want to see some gns s times in the 2021 range that that'll really solidify my uh my modifications and my concerns to make sure that I know that I'm getting the most out of this setup because I don't think that this is going to be capable of much more than that. And remember, on the GNSS, a 2.1 would be like a 1.9 on the tree. 
So that's going to be about as fast as I think I can expect this thing to go. If I can get this thing to go 2 2 0 2 1 consistently, I know that it's competitive. And uh, and that's I think that's saying a lot considering that this is still essentially a completely stock Traxxas drag slash chassis suspension. All we've done is the springs in the or the shocks and springs in the back. Uh, but suspension wise, this whole thing, all the arms, links, the chassis, everything is still as factory, even the wheelie bar, all that. So the other thing too, we've got a new body coming on the way that should be here uh, this week. So stay tuned in the next video that should be up and going, but I'm going to go take this thing out tonight. We're going to go test it. Um, and you guys have a good rest of the weekend and I'll see you in the next one.